Hello and welcome to a lame unboxing of DJ Max Portable Hot Tunes Limited Edition. Uh, I actually just got this today. I got it from Play Asia and it was uh, it cost $99.90 US, which is essentially a hundred dollars. I'm just gonna give it an open here. Hopefully I don't wreck it. It's this time it wasn't banged up in a corner like my quadro was. Good. Get that out of the way. And this is a slip case. Take that out. Actually, yes. It's a little weird way of spelling hot tunes down there. It's taking longer than it should. Can't really see it there, but it's the uh, logo there of the DJ Max Portable of uh, Hot Tunes engraved right into this wooden case. Open there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is what it looks like in the inside. Got the, uh, oh, I guess that's where the UMD is. And you got the CDs of the uh, soundtrack, cartoons this one, this two, and I would think that little tiny little thing down there. Oh, yeah, it's the piano collection. I probably can't see it in the glare. Okay. Ah! Take that out. I guess that's where it goes. What's that? Game. Gosh, there's so much glare. Okay. I'm gonna open this up. So much plastic. Oh, it's actually on the fence on whether or not I want to buy this, considering I have portable and portable two and DJ Max Fever. But I figure, hey, it's another limited edition. Why not? And uh, this is what it looks like in the inside. Nothing all that special. Uh, let's see. Just all the different modes. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the only thing that seems to be sort of new is the uh, little weird four button light tunes there. Uh, guess I'll check that out later. I wonder if there's anything under here. Aha! There is something underneath. Ooh, it's a little. This is the. Uh, this is, I guess this is for the soundtrack or something. Or no, actually, it really is what it says there. Performance indicator. In, Log your scores and how well you do and all that stuff. But let's just take a look at what's in here. It's like two posters or something or other. One of uh, Lady Made Star. And then, well, actually, it's a whole bunch of them. I uh, should have known that since they showed it on the uh, photos on Play Asia. It's one of, I believe it's for Outlaw. I don't know what the heck the rest of them are. Oh, let me just take that out. And get this is oh, oh crap. Posters <laughs> for the soundtrack. It's a little overkill. That's what the lyrics do. Oh my gosh, there's no way I can get this all on the camera. Ugh. Just see some of it here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Anything new? It doesn't really look like it. Right, let's just take the other one too. Okay, well, there's another one here. Oh, maybe I should just. This is what it looks like. The title. Certainly 
one of the less extravagant limited editions. Uh, well, in my opinion. Let's see, nothing else at the back here. No, nope. I guess that was it. Uh, whoops. Mm -hmm. I guess I can open these poster things. Let's see what they are. I thought they were supposed to, supposed to come with postcards or something too, but oh well. Yeah, thinking about the, another limited edition. I really don't want to open these things. I'll just take a little... Actually, I'll do it over here. Uh, Oh, Lady Maid Star, uh, Brand New Days. Uh, this is for Divine Service. Uh, just, just one there is no. Okay. Get the other one out. Alright, so you got this. This is the one that has this for Outlaw. And this one is for Oblivion, I believe. Yeah, I'm being sort of cheap and not showing what they are. I just don't want to really uh, roll and roll those. This is Pearl Breakers, whatever the heck that song is. Another one for Divine Service, oh joy. Uh, I, guess they're, I guess these are random or something, huh? Kind of looking around here, there doesn't seem to be anything that indicates what's supposed to be included with this thing. Hmm. Yeah, well. Anyway. Oh. Well, that's about it. Kind of a, a boring unboxing, but there you go.